Hi there! Today I thought we would do a really fun Halloween crafting project. We're going to be going over how to do this little cameo necklace and instead of a normal cameo it is a little skull and they have four different designs of this at Michael's so it's pretty affordable and very quick. Um, all you need is to look in the scrapbooking section or Halloween section for these little um, cameos and then the separate metal piece that they go on is from the jewelry beading section and i just used a little bit of lace trim that i happen to have and i haven't even put a closure on it since it's for halloween you can just tie it in the back um, with any ribbon or leather cord that you choose so um, they sell a variety of real cameo pieces um, made from plastic at Michael's. And I'll insert some photos of that from their, I think it's called a Pimberly collection. And then in their Halloween or scrapbooking area, they have these. These are actually for scrapbooking, not so much jewelry making, but I thought they would be a fun Halloween craft. And these embellishments um, were half price because they're Halloween. And then Michael's always has a coupon if you look online on your phone to always get uh, at least one item 30 or 40 percent off so this is 4.99 for four pieces and then i had quite a time finding an oval shaped um, pendant holder sometime called a bezel this is called a frame and this um, i couldn't find online when i looked but i did find it in store from bead landing and it is just found objects frames and it's two pieces in slightly different colors look who we have here here you go also from the scrapbooking section another option are these actually metal frames and they um, are from their ideology collection I had to move her, but she's more adorable than I am. But these were not quite the right size. They're a little too big, so I would need to have some sort of other backing. So it works for scrapbooking. For jewelry making, it'd be a little more complicated, but not impossible. So uh, all you really need is some hot glue and figure out which one you want. And these fit in there. They're slightly too small but if you center it correctly it should work out and then you're going to need a clasp of some sort this is a string of various clasps that was on clearance but they have all sorts of clasps and chains or ribbons for me i'm going to try to use this lace trim ribbon that I got from Walmart for about two dollars. Hello. Okay. And we are just going to make sure our hot glue gun is warmed up. There it is. And we're gonna put a little dab -a do and then should have decided this earlier I'm going to use this little gentleman in a hat and put a little dab on that and I'm trying to center it correctly. It's pretty much perfect. Pick up my string. Now we'll do our lady on the slightly more burnished, cuter colored one. And if you wanted to, you could paint these any color you wanted. So 
if it's not the right shade of gold or silver, always paint them beforehand. <laughs> Trying to keep her away from the hot glue. So this one came out perfect. And now we just need to make the ribbon choker part of it. Now I've never used this for jewelry making, but it's what I happen to have in my stash. And it's kind of wide. If you like these kind of fun, easy crafting projects, please leave me a comment of what else you might like to see. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Happy Halloween.